Mr. President, many of our colleagues will be leaving us at the end of this Congress. And I wish to take time this morning to pay tribute to some of my colleagues, particularly those with whom I've worked most closely. And of course, I must start with my colleague and friend from Maine, Olympia Snow. Mr. President, in ancient Sparta, there was a saying that roughly translated as this. It seems all the world knows what is the right thing to do, but it is only the Spartans who will do anything about it. As my friend, colleague, and senior senator from Maine, Olympia Snow ends her service in the Senate, I rise to pay tribute to this descendant of that legendary civilization. Olympia is a true leader who has always devoted her considerable intellect, energy, and commitment to doing what was right for Maine and for America. Olympia Snow has dedicated her life to public service. 18 years in the United States Senate, preceded by 16 representing Maine's 2nd Congressional District, plus five in the Maine legislature, add up to a remarkable record of commitment to our nation and the great state of Maine. But that span of nearly four decades tells us only part of the story. For Olympia has truly set the gold standard for public service. From the State House to the US Capitol, Olympia has built an outstanding reputation as an informed, thoughtful, and effective legislator. She can always be counted on as a leader with integrity who pursued solutions and who had no interest in just scoring partisan political points. It is Olympia's character that has made all that difference. Mr. President, the private acts of public figures can tell you a lot about their character. So I want to share with my colleagues this morning a story about Olympia Snow that I witnessed personally. There was a Republican fundraiser going on one night, and I was arriving late, driving up in a car. People were streaming out of the fundraiser, and each of them was passing by a man who was on crutches with only one leg, clearly destitute, clearly down on his luck, who was asking for money. Everybody but Olympia Snow passed him by without a word, as if he were invisible. Olympia went over to this destitute man on crutches with one leg. And she not only handed him some money, but she took the time to talk with him. And I think that tells you so much about who Olympia Snow is. Her kindness to this individual when everyone else was passing him by. Her kindness to him when no one was watching, her kindness to him was a private act that told all of us so much about her character. With her retirement from the Senate, Olympia Snow will join the pantheon of great leaders that our state has produced. Margaret Chase Smith, Ed Muskie, George Mitchell, and Bill Cohen. 
All of them, like Olympia, exemplify the principle that public office is a sacred trust. Olympia's inspiring record of service is but part of an even, even more inspiring life story. Several times from childhood on, Olympia has been visited by tragedy that would have caused most people to become discouraged, disheartened, and negative. But each time Olympia rose up, transcended her personal tragedy, and was more determined than before to succeed and to contribute to a better life for others. Her well-deserved popularity among Maine people transcends party lines and is testament to her strength and her spirit. The people of Maine and America are grateful for her many years of service. I am grateful for her leadership and her friendship. And I know that Olympia Snow will continue to influence national policy for many years to come. <laughs>